Good morning, folks. Today is Monday, April 8th. This is a day that has been in the news for uh, literally six, seven years since the last uh, solar eclipse. And uh, this is really exciting, very exciting. I really hope that uh, <laughs> that the clouds go away uh, and and we get to, to fully enjoy the total eclipse. I've got my shirt on, you can see that. Marble Falls, Texas, the path of totality. Very excited. So anyway, also, this is my week 11 update. I have to make a correction from Saturday. This is my week 11 pulmonary fibrosis and carnivore diet update. So let's get this intro started and we'll get on with it. So, as I mentioned, April 8th, this is, uh, this is exciting. Uh, you know, there's so much speculation, so many so-called prophetic events that uh, are supposed to unfold. But you know what? This is still the day that God has made for you and for me. So, I'm, I'm just not worrying about what man says. It, I'm just going to enjoy it. Yes, I will be outside. I will be exposed. So will my family. Uh, so will a lot of friends. So will some of our campers. We're, we're going to have a good time. We're going to enjoy this. You know, this is possibly a, a once in a lifetime event. So very exciting. My week 11 update. Yes, it has been a while. I haven't done an update since week eight. And so much has happened. I I just kind of got tired of, of 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 doing the. I guess you could say I lost my enthusiasm for doing all these videos. But I appreciate the fact that many of you have have reached out and and asked how I'm still doing. I'm still losing weight. Some of the forums and some of the YouTube channels are probably going to remove my video because I am going to talk about medications. <sighs> How can I, how can I, how do I put this without being offensive, without being rude and, and, uh, without being mean? So as you know, I've, I've had pulmonary fibrosis now for, uh, going on four years. And, you know, once you've, once you've been told you have pulmonary fibrosis, normally you've got a three to five year life expectancy after that. Well, you know what, that's what the doctors tell you. And you can be like me the first three years and you can fall into that, you can become a victim and just accept the fact that life has changed for the worst. Um, you can get into a depression, you can just start eating and, 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 and not think about your health anymore because you don't expect that you're gonna have much longer to live, but um, I, I I guess I reached a point to to seeing how my family reacted, especially my wife, um, where it became extremely hard for them, and I never wanted to be that burden to to my family, to my kids, to anybody, and um, but I fell into that. Uh, Sorry for putting it this way, but pity party, uh, and and uh, and that's one way that you can deal with this. Uh, it's 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 hard, uh, hard to accept, or you can continue to live the way that 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 God intended you to live, uh, and you can still do the job that God has given you to do on this earth, you know? Um, and I finally made, uh, I, I made that decision to, to change uh, a lot. Uh, and and, and uh, for instance, not, not just my diet, but, but uh, really looking at my medications. What was I taking? I didn't even know, I just, you know, I have pulmonary fibrosis. They tell me I got so long to live. 
so take your medications to either prolong your life or, or slow down the, the, the lung disease. Um, and and uh, I just accepted that. But through this whole time, I went from, well, when I got out of the hospital, I was 145 pounds. And here, three years later, three and a half years later, I was 240, well, 235 pounds. Uh, so that's almost 100 pounds. And I just kind of let it happen. I, I had never been in that condition. I'd always been strong, you know, uh, ex-gymnast, uh, military, um, and, and I really let things I, I really let things go. So if you're like me and you have pulmonary fibrosis, you have lung disease, you have high blood pressure, you have high cholesterol, you have heart conditions, um, you can you can deal with it however you deal with it, but I I decided that my family was more important and I was going to fight um, as hard as I could to to keep on living so I started looking at all the diet alternatives paleo Mediterranean uh, uh, vegan diet uh, even if it was just kind of a partial vegan diet and yeah I, I attempted them and I'm not gonna say I, I gave them my my best shot uh, but then I came across the the carnivore diet, as many of you know now that I've been on it. Uh, this is, uh, I just completed week 11. And I have never felt better in my life by, by making that change. Now, I wanna tell you that everything that I'm experiencing is my personal experience. So I'm not gonna tell you that you need to to follow the carnivore diet or, or that you have to do what I'm doing. I'm just telling you that through some prayer, through a lot of prayer, through a lot of hard feelings, anger, guilt, uh, pity party, you name it, uh, I finally got to this point and I, you know, I, as of today, I'm what, 206? So from 235 to 206, that has been great. Also, my waist size from a 40 pant, uh, 40, 40, okay. Look, I, I, <laughs> I know I told y'all 38 in a stretchy jeans, right? And, and in those stretchy jeans at a 38, I was, I was, I was really pulling at the buttons. So I probably should have been at a 40 or 41. Uh, <laughs> cause it was, it was not easy getting in those 38s. But, um, uh, I am now wearing uh, size 34 jeans. I haven't done that since I was in high school. It's, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, a lot of weight. I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, I have, uh, uh, I feel great now when I go and, and try on clothes because I feel better about what I'm wearing. And I apologize, you can hear the crow in the background. Uh, he's there every morning. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we don't have any roosters. We have a crow, a crazy crow. Uh, but, uh, okay. So back to the, back to my story. Uh, the big thing I wanted to discuss is medications. Okay. Look, every time I've gone to see my heart doctor, my lung doctor, when they've discussed my cholesterol and how high it was, you know, they, they wanted, they put me on statins. Okay. Uh, they increased the medication to my high blood pressure. They, uh, you know, they have me on, on, on what is it? Other pills for, for my, um, uh, my heart condition also. So, you know, they, and, and so every time I went in and they would get on to me about my weight and my health, they would increase or change my medication to something worse. And then they would tell you, hey, change your eating, okay? Go to veggies, uh, stop eating red meats, stop eating fats, and take your pills. 
folks, have you ever really looked at what is in your medication that you're taking or even the side effects? I didn't. Okay. Uh, my wife did. Praise the Lord. She did. She took the time to do that and discuss this with me. And every single medication, uh, I, I excluded the ones for, for depression, you know, because that comes along with 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 this disease. You, you, you feel a little depressed. So every single one of my medications, their side effects are uh, uh, lethargic. Lethargy is that how you say it? Lethargy, lethargy. Leth it's it's being tired. You're constantly tired. You're constantly worn out. You constantly have no energy. Uh, so how how ironic is that? That they tell you you've got to get better. They increase your medications, and these medications are intended to keep you in bed, to keep you from moving, to stop you from doing what they're telling you to do. So. Here comes a long carnivore diet, and I see all these changes. I read about the changes, and I see a lot of controversy amongst doctors, and I love that. I love that because then you start seeing doctors who are not getting paid to hand out these medications, and they're starting to talk about things that are in their actual oath to help you get better. So I started this carnivore diet, and then what happens next? I did something, I, I, I took a chance, I took a risk, I stopped all my medications, except for my vitamins, okay? I, I stayed on my vitamins, um, I take uh, one pill for my high blood pressure, I stopped all my other high blood pressure pills, I take one and it's the lowest dose. Um, I stopped taking my depression medication, that has been an issue and, and I'll talk to you later about that. Um, as far as, as emotional concerns go, but yeah, uh, my cholesterol pills, my statin, I stopped that, uh, my heart condition pills, I stopped that, everything, I stopped it all. And if you saw my week four video, you saw that my cholesterol levels dropped significantly, almost half, uh, they're normal. I'm in a normal range now. Uh, my blood pressure, uh, it was at 140, 150 over 101. Uh, it'd be in the high 90s or it'd be slightly elevated over hundreds. Uh, that was for the lower number. And now it's 120 over 81, uh, 123 over 78. Uh, I've got excellent blood pressure numbers. And that is stopping my medication. That's what I did. I stopped them. And I really focused on this carnivore diet. My coffee in the morning, the one you see me holding right here, it's got half a stick of butter in it. Uh, monk fruit, uh, cocoa powder, uh, beef protein. Uh, and yes, if you saw my, <laughs> if you go back and you look at my video, I tell you how to make this this amazing coffee, it tastes great, and it's full of fat. It's got protein in it. Um, there's more protein in my cup of coffee than probably a steak and eggs breakfast. So yeah, I've, I've changed my diet. I, I high fats, uh, a lot of red meat. Everything they told me not to do, I'm doing. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm just telling you for me, as a person with pulmonary fibrosis, I feel I feel amazing. A lot has happened in just the last, you know, I, I haven't given you an update in, in three weeks. I told you about that. Part of it has been because I've taken off my depression medication. I'm not taking that anymore. It was almost a cold stop. Uh, and so I was dealing with, with, with emotional issues um, and they have gotten better, praise the Lord. Um, my, uh, I just had a birthday. Yes, happy birthday to me. Uh, March 18th, uh, I turned 55, I think, 55. Oh my gosh, yes, 55. Uh, so uh, I had a trip to Iowa to go visit the office. Uh, and uh, we spent a week up there. And then through all this, we've been trying to 
manage the preparation of, of, of our campgrounds to get them ready for uh, amazing campers that are that are here and and, and we've just uh, we've just really enjoyed that so I've been busy I've been busy with other things outside of YouTube and, and I apologize I haven't concentrated on any of y'all and I haven't concentrated on my videos or or giving you any updates but I feel missed because I've seen the messages uh, I've, I've seen the the text and the comments that y'all have sent and I appreciate it. So thank you so much. I, I want to talk more about about the about coming off of my depression medication and I'm gonna do that in another video here um, maybe a little later this week because today is gonna be a little eventful with the solar eclipse. I hope that you have the opportunity to enjoy this. Listen, turn off the, the media, okay? Stop paying attention to what everyone is telling you um, about what is or what isn't going to happen. Regardless, uh, God is in control, okay? So forget about all that. This is an event that if you have an opportunity to take part in, if you have an opportunity to to witness, then man, I, I say do it. Uh, it's exciting. All right, so that has been my update for, for week 11. So God bless you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to continue praying for you. I hope that you continue praying for me. And uh, look for a few more videos this week as I talk a little bit more about uh, uh, what I've been going through uh, uh, again as, as I'm year four into pulmonary fibrosis. All right, folks. God bless you. I love you. We'll talk to you later.